What's up everybody? I just wanted to say thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. Somehow my dumb stuff got 10,000 people to subscribe to it and all that. So I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I've got a lot of plans in the future. We need to talk. What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Before I tell the story of what the f happened there, I just need to say thank you because this channel just hit 10,000 subscribers, which is honestly like so incredible. There's so many channels out there with way more than that. So I'm also not going to sit here and claim that it's some like amazing, like impossible feat by any means, but yeah, it just feels good. The truth is I would not have gotten here without the help of so many people, many of whom are probably watching this right now. It's so hot today. I don't have air conditioning and I'm stuck in a basement with a bunch of really bright lights right in my face. So I think I'm starting to sweat, but we're just gonna go for it. Honestly, I'm curious to know why you guys watch these videos, like why you subscribe, like what it is about my content that you keep coming back to. But I think it's because it's just a little bit different. It's not that different. I'm not creating a new genre. I'm not blowing anybody away with how unique my stuff is, but it is a little bit unique for the backpacking niche. I basically took a pre-existing style of like the top 10 hiking videos and just added a little twist to it. A little bit of like college humor almost, like goofy humor, because that's just kind of who I am. And I think just adding that was enough to kind of stand out among the various backpacking channels. And I think that's the, the main reason why I'm making this stupid 10,000 subscriber video right now. But like I said, despite all my efforts and a lot of time and hard work that I've put into getting this channel to where it is today, I still wouldn't have been able to make it to 10,000 subscribers without the help from a lot of other people. So what I'm gonna do right now is go through a list of individuals who have just really contributed to this channel, who have really helped me get to the point that I'm at now, this 10,000 subscriber mark, which again, isn't that big a deal, but for me, it is a pretty big deal, obviously. This list is not exhaustive. There's gonna be people that I forget, so just because I don't name you doesn't mean I don't appreciate you, trust me. But these are some of the big ones. And the first person I want to thank, ready for this cliche saying here, is you. And I genuinely mean that. The people that watch these videos, the people that subscribe to these videos, the people that comment on these videos, like shout out to all the people who comment on my videos like every single time I post. Like I, I know who all you guys are. I see your names every single week because you're literally just helping me out every single time I post. Even if it's just like a, hey, great video, Kyle, or like a chirp at me or whatever, like genuinely, if you comment on my stuff regularly, regularly, I know who you are, I know your name, and that sounds creepy. I know your username at least, and I appreciate it. There's a reason that YouTubers always ask for people to like subscribe and leave comments and all this stuff, and that's because the more people engage with your content, the more YouTube realizes that it's good, and the more that they push it out to other people. So let me wipe some more sweat from my forehead. Ugh. And let me talk about some individuals now. Again, this isn't exhaustive, but the first person that I need to thank for helping me like so much with all of this is my boy Flossie, who is not home right now and does not know I'm making this video. So if you guys watch my videos, you know Flossie obviously, but what you might not know is that he doesn't just like appear on camera every now and then and that's it. Like he actually helps me a ton, especially when we're on trail. Like I'll literally just shove the camera into his hands and be like, yo, film this real quick. And he doesn't have any sort of technical background. He doesn't have any background, even in social media. The guy like doesn't even have that many social media profiles. He's not on Instagram or anything like that. So this is like all new to him. And despite the lack of experience, he just gets it. Like he never complains. Like not once has he ever complained when I've just shoved a camera in his face in the middle of like a 20 mile hiking day when he's like exhausted. He gets it and he helps. And I don't think that I would have been able to hit this milestone at least at this current time without his help. And you guys should be stoked too because we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff in the next coming months. He's gonna be even more involved and uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just spare the details for now. Another person I need to thank, which some of you might be familiar with if you listen to my podcast, Trail Tales, is Baker Bo Corny. He's never really been involved directly with the YouTube stuff, but he's been super involved with my podcast. He's been on the show like eight or nine times at this point. And funny enough, the very first YouTube video that I ever uploaded, I was like so nervous and just like self-conscious about it. I sent him a private link and I was basically like, 
Baker, like, watch this and just be honest with me. Tell me if it's stupid and I just won't post it. I'll just, like, not make YouTube videos. And he watched it and it was a pretty shitty video, to be honest, but he was just like, dude, whatever, just like, it's fine, just like, post it. And so that gave me, like, the initial boost. And so I'm very thankful for that. Thank you so much, Baker. Darwin on the trail. I gotta thank Darwin. I mean, he showed me so much love and so much support. So much support. <laughs> So much support. I've asked him so many like technical questions in terms of like filming and editing and things like that and he's a busy dude. He's got a lot of followers. He does not need to take the time to respond to all my stupid like really detailed technical questions but he does because he cares and he's just a good dude. Not only that but he's been a guest on Trail Tales before and he even had me on his like little live stream podcast-esque thing that he did a couple months ago which it makes no sense. The dude has like, I don't even know, like almost 300,000 subscribers and he was having me on who I think I had like six or 7,000 at the time. Like, he didn't have to do that. I wouldn't have blamed him if he didn't, but he did anyway. I gotta thank the Shield Brothers. If you guys don't know who they are, go check out their channel. In my opinion, they're like some of the funniest dudes in the backpacking niche. They do like these live streams where they just get like drunk and it's so funny, honestly. They had me on their podcast as well back when I was much smaller than they were. They literally let me just troll their live streams and, and they like it apparently. They don't, they don't kick me out, they don't get mad at me. So the Show Brothers are awesome. Go check them out if you haven't already. Taylor the New Hampshire hiker, who I, I can't say New Hampshire, it just sounds weird, but I, I gotta thank Taylor too. I mean, you guys have hopefully been seeing these Manad Not to Sunny Pea Greenway Trail videos that I've been posting lately. Our channels are similar sizes. We just get along really well. It was super fun to hike with her. Like, I, I feel so lucky to have had the chance to find somebody else who lives nearby that's around my same age that is just like a super badass hiker. Oh man, I am sweating so much right now. Jeremiah Stringer, I gotta thank Jeremiah Stringer. He has the sexiest accent on YouTube if you haven't seen his channel. Way back before I even had a thousand subscribers, he was just giving me a lot of advice about just thumbnails and all this random stuff and I really appreciated that at the time. I still appreciate that now. So Jeremiah Stringer, thank you so much. Yo, can you get me a beer? Whatever you want. Yingling. <laughs> I also need to thank my amazing roommate, who's much taller than me, Adam, for letting me take up all this space with all my lights and shit. And Nick too, my other roommate. And there's one more big name that I haven't mentioned yet that I should probably thank, and that would be Dan Becker. Now, I know Dan Becker sucks, like, f Dan Becker, but I gotta say, like, I've made a lot of jokes at his expense. Every single video I ever post, even if I don't mention Dan Becker at all, people still f***ing comment jokes about Dan Becker. Like, it would have been very easy for him to see this small YouTuber, this kid freaking making fun of him, swearing, drinking in his videos and stuff, and to have him basically just been like, f*** off. It, I totally would have understood if he wanted absolutely nothing to do with me, but that wasn't the case. Before I even had 1,000 subscribers, Dan Becker reached out to me and basically told me that he was all about it. Like. He didn't care about the jokes. He understood that I was joking and uh, I think he kind of likes it. In fact, I'm, pr I'm pretty positive he likes it. And so that brings us to the story of that little clip you guys saw at the beginning of the video. The story of how Dan Becker and I met. It's actually pretty funny. Real quick before I get into that, I just want to say 46 Climbs. If you didn't see my video about that, I'm going to link it right at the top of this video description. Basically, 46 Climbs is a charity that raises money for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. My Kyle Hates Hiking team is freaking killing it right now. Thank you guys so much for, for donating. And I want to be the number one donation team this year. So anyways, watch the video down below for more information. Dan Becker's story. Obviously, Dan Becker is a huge part of my channel, just the jokes and everything. And so the fact that this happened with him out of all the hiking YouTubers out there is just so funny. It was just a right time, right place kind of thing. Completely spontaneous. I just saw on Dan Becker's Instagram that he had posted a picture of himself on a plane. And somebody commented, Oh, where are you flying to, Dan? And he wrote, Vermont. There's only like one real airport here, and that's in Burlington, Vermont where I live. In fact, it's literally about two and a half miles away from my house. Don't try to find me. And so when I saw that he was flying to Vermont, I knew there was only like one place he could be going pretty much. So I just sent him an email and I was just like, yo, I don't know what you're doing, but if you have time and you want to like 
make a quick meme or whatever, take a picture, like let me know. And then I kind of forgot about it, to be honest. I was like editing a video, I was chilling, it was a Saturday. And then probably like three or four hours later, I got an email back from him and it was just like, yo, call me right now. And he's like, yo, I'm in Burlington. I flew here to buy a pickup truck and I'm driving back to Wisconsin like right now. I'm literally in the parking lot of Panera Bread. Like we're about to leave. He was with his wife too. Can you come like right now? And I was like, yeah, let's let's do it. I, I just like grabbed my camera, I grabbed Flossie. I was like, Flossie, we're going right now, let's do this. Went to the parking lot, Dan Becker's there with his brand new pickup truck. And yeah, we just got to chill for like five minutes, you know, took a couple pictures. I didn't have like any time at all to prepare like a video thing. I knew I was getting close to 10,000 subscribers. I wasn't quite there yet, but I knew I was gonna do this video once I got there. And I didn't have any other ideas to be honest because it was so last minute. So I was just like, screw it. I'll just do like a 10,000 subscribers like introduction and he'll crash it or whatever. So that's what we did. And he was really nice about it. I didn't want to take up too much of his time because they had a long drive back to Wisconsin. That's the story basically. When I woke up that morning, I did not think I would be meeting Dan Becker that day. It was just really cool. He was a great sport about it. So f Dan Becker, but also Dan Becker's pretty cool and he's done a lot of good things for this channel. Obviously, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for all this. Please go check out the 46 Climbs thing. Here's to 100,000. Is that the next goal? F it. 100,000. Let's do it.